Okay, just a quick, another food related video. So I used to work with someone who, I can't remember if they're vegan or vegetarian, but they, they were one of the two, except for bacon sandwiches, which always used to make me laugh. They also said they didn't drink, they used to constantly get quite ratted. But I've seen this, uh, it's plant-based bacon. So we're gonna cook it up and do a taste test, and see if it's any good. So one of his questions is probably going to be what is inside this isn't bacon plant based rashers. So uh, let's see what we've got in there. We've got water, soya protein concentrate, soya protein isolate, uh, pea protein isolate, vegetable extracts which are radishes, carrots and paprika, potato starch, salt, rapeseed oil, maltodextrin, iron, vitamin B12, um, and that's it, it's producing an environment that also handles gluten, packaged in protective atmosphere, store chill, blah blah blah. Eat it once opened, eat within 24 hours, not suitable for home freezing. Uh, yeah, so it says on here, oh hi, we're Andy and Pete and we make this. For your information, our last job entails selling tons, literally tons of meat. We felt bad, also we felt like meat alternatives weren't really for people who love the taste of meat. We felt that they were for people who like saddles and socks. So basically end up making food for ourselves, but we'd love you to nom nom it too. This is a game changer, great for you and the planet, and you won't notice the change. So, I don't know, strong words, but um, let's cook some of this up and see what it tastes like. Okay, so to get out the packaging, it literally just slides out like this. Hmm. quite look like bacon, but uh, <laughs> we cut open the, the packet, it doesn't say about, uh, I recommend grilling, oh it says pan fry for three to five minutes or until crispy with a teaspoon of oil. So uh, I get the pan on, chop this open, fry it up and uh, see if hopefully it tastes better than it looks. Okay so just put the pan on to heat, use a bit of coconut oil in there and just sliced open the top of this bacon. It actually does smell baconish. Okay. So I will uh, pull out these rashers, pop them on the fryer. And we'll see, maybe it's gonna taste better than we thought. Okay, so the frying pan's a bit hotter. These are what the rashers look like that side of the packaging. Look a bit like uh, strips of beef or maybe some strips of tuna, I don't know. But, uh, I'll get the pan loads up and I'll come back and see how they're getting on. Okay, so they're sizzling away and uh, they are giving off a slightly bacony smell actually, so uh, I'm surprised. Just uh, turn these early ones over. A bit sticky on the pan there. Okay, I'll keep them going and then uh, see what it look like after four minutes. Okay, so they've been on for about four minutes. Just turn them over again. I think they're kind of cooked. Um, they don't seem to kind of crisp up too much. They go a bit kind of harder. Just burn myself there. A bit harder you can see here. I wouldn't really consider it to be crispy bacon. Uh, we'll pop on the plate and uh, then give them a little taste, see what it tastes like. Okay, so that's the end result. I guess in some ways it does look a little bit like very crispy bacon. I've chopped a little bit up here so you can see what it looks like inside. And uh, it's now for the taste test. Okay, so taste test time. Here it is. Hmm. Doesn't taste like bacon. 
Um, quite sure what it tastes like actually. I think it's a okay, yeah, with a fry up or something. But I'm sure I'll have a substitute every week for bacon sandwiches. Not bad though. So, um, yeah, definitely worth trying it out and see what you think. I'm going to have it with some other food. So I'll put a comment down below if it kind of blends in uh, better with anything else. And I guess because it's because uh, the dog's been hanging around since I started cooking it, so we'll do a dog taste test as well. Some more? Yeah, she likes it. Thanks for watching this video. A thumbs up would be really appreciated. If you're interested in other geek type videos, please consider subscribing to Spectrum Geeks. Why not also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And before you leave, why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest. Thanks again for watching.